I'm Melissa Rebick and I'm going to talk you through the biochar dairy feeding trial we conducted on the Flurio Peninsula of South Australia with this 250 Jersey cow herd. The biochar was mixed in a total mixed ration containing some canola meal, grains and oil. The biochar was mixed at 150 grams per head per day and was consumed while the cows were being milked within the dairy. So here we are with Barry Clark from the Flurio Milk Co. So how did you go with mixing the biochar into the feed mix, Matt? No, it mixed quite well. Yeah, we've, we've got our own mixer, so um, it's just a matter of adding it when we added the minerals and the oil to the grain. Yep. And uh, no, it mixed, mixed up quite well. Yep. We went a little bit heavy early and had a little bit of trouble with it going through the feeders in the dairy, but once, once we, we got a good rate, it, it went fine. You know, are you happy with the results with the milk production, we found that we increased the milk yields by about 1.4 litres per day. Yeah, the cows did seem, seem to milk better, uh, especially the younger younger cattle, that quite often they'll struggle a bit more, heifers, um, when they first come into the herd, you know, dealing with bigger and older cows, but yeah, just I'm assuming it just helped them to use the other nutrients better. Yeah. So as a farmer, would you would you recommend biochar to others to use as a dairy farmer? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm certainly have full intentions of going on on using it. Yeah, and, you know, if we can get it made locally, and that'll be a, a bit better. But um, yeah, I would still use it even after the brand new stuff. We discussed earlier that by feeding the biochar in a ration to Barry Clark's dairy herd. We improved the milk yield by 1.4 litres per head per day and also needed to use less fodder. But we also found anecdotal evidence of improved soil health and pasture health in Barry Clark's paddock. As the biochar passes through the animal, it activates the dung. At Barry's property, we found increased pH, microbes, fungi, cation exchange capacity and increased pasture minerals. Our pH certainly improved, um, you know, it, it's a sh fairly short period of time but I would like to keep monitoring where that all goes over the next couple of years. So we set up a trial site on the Flurio Peninsula of South Australia on Mark Higgins' property where he has very active populations of winter and summer active dung beetles and is soon to release this colony of spring active dung beetles. The trial has three replications where we've put biochar in the dung, biochar under the dung, bi uh, dung only, and then no dung. Introducing Mark Higgins to talk about this biochar dung soil pasture trial. This is, for me personally, has been a really interesting trial because um, there's a lot of evidence to see that um, biochar has a positive effect on soil health and and uh, pasture production and then on the other hand we've got the dung beetles which we've had like nearly 20 years experience with and they're definitely of great benefit in, in many fields uh, on the farm um, so in this trial what we've done is we're bringing the two together in a proper trial where we've got controls in it and so what we're using the beetles to do is to try and take the biochar down uh, deeper into the soil so bring the two things together and see what the effects are so it's a very very interesting um, trial and um, I've enjoyed working in it and um, I look forward to seeing the results that come through from it. Um. We take a closer look at the trial setup and where the dung is placed. Got a metre by a square metre plot and what was the plan of the trial was was to put nine dung pads and each dung pad is, is about four centimetres uh, uh, deep and 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres and we've worked it out to put nine of those on the square metre. And this is what the dung looks like that Mark's collected to put on the trial. They are roughly two litres and weigh two kilograms each. And, um, so we started on this particular plot we see here, we started here and you can see how the dung is 100% removed. It's been taken deep down and the past has come back. There's the second one and the third and then the fourth one, which was a summer, a summer one, which is still done that didn't, didn't work quite as well the, with the beetles, it was with the heat in the summer. And then we've got the, 
first of the winter ones this year which is completely gone and then we've got the second one of the winter ones which is in process of being removed. So that's there, it's pretty much completely gone, there's just, that's pretty much soil. Looking closely, the activated manure with biochar has been completely buried by the dung beetles. So if we now dig through it down, we'll be able to hopefully find some dung beetles if we follow it down. So here we point out the tunnels of the dung beetles. We follow the tunnels down to see how deeply they bury the biochar laden dung. We're down 32 centimetres and we can see here all the fresh dung. You can see the shine of the green dung in contrast to the soil. There's the tunnel. And so the dung beetles burrow down 32 centimetres and we're still going. We think it's over 40 centimetres deep. So here's the beetle, and there's another one here. So these are bubis bison. And that's down at 46, there he is, he's awake. That's down at, that's pretty good, isn't it? 46 centimetres. So to monitor the soil health and pasture health scientifically, we set up the replicated trial site at Mark Higgins' farm. And we've shown you how the biochar laden activated manure can be buried 40 centimetres plus deep within the soil profile with the amazing dung beetle ecosystem engineers. To date, we found increased biomass in the trial plots where we've laid down the dung. The dung pads we've laid down in the trial plots have been well buried by the dung beetles. We're going to continue to measure the soil health and plant health to see if we can detect differences in those plots where there's biochar in the dung. So we've discovered some wonderful benefits of feeding biochar through dairy cattle to improve the milk yield, improve feed conversion, and then finding that the biochar laden mineral activated dung can improve the soil health, pasture health, and plant biomass. Because of that, I've started feeding biochar to my beef cattle. This video shows how I've mixed straight biochar with molasses. The sweetness attracts the cattle immediately. I've also found the manure of the animals is more solid and darker. The cows seem quite happy to ad-lib and consume the biochar and consume it no more than around 300 grams per head per day. Here's a time lapse of my cows consuming biochar that I'd mixed up earlier. Biochar also has the potential to reduce methane emissions. Any time we get an improvement in feed conversion, this normally results in a reduction in methane emissions. The methane component is being researched at other RD&E organisations. But the burial of the dung also reduces nitrous oxide and improves soil carbon. And farm health can only continue to improve over time by feeding biochar through animals. Thank you for watching the biochar dung beetle video. There's no telling where the cascading benefits of feeding biochar through animals will end. We've got a number of ongoing projects of feeding biochar to beef cattle, biochar to sheep, and I've even been feeding biochar to alpacas. Be sure to keep an eye on my website, Climate and Agricultural Support Proprietary Limited, for updates and outputs on our latest projects and workshops. The website includes the economic benefit on Barry Clark's farm, where we improved the profitability by $67,000 just through the milk yield and fodder reduction alone. There's a technical report soon to be put on there and also we have a published paper in press. We will keep you posted. Thank you.